so, um, what should you do when you choose a movie scene? Uh, you should try and find one interesting theme in the scene. You shouldn't really tell the... You shouldn't need to tell the whole story of the movie. You shouldn't really show how the movie ends. Uh, you should definitely think about people who haven't seen the movie. And I think you should be encouraging people to watch the whole movie later. Um, if you choose the first half of the movie, um, in the first half of the movie, they're introducing the characters, they're introducing places, they're introducing ideas. So often the first half of the movie has very good scenes that will show us information Whereas in the second half of the movie, you need to know all of the information that you've been given in the first half of the movie in order to understand the second half. Um, so often the second half of the movie is difficult to understand if you haven't seen the first half. Uh, and remember, some people haven't seen the first half of your movie. And also no spoilers. So don't give away information in the movie. Don't give away the ending of the movie. Um, don't spoil it for people. If they want to find out how the movie ends, they should go and watch the whole movie. Uh, just one thing briefly then about um, what's called top-down and bottom-up processing. So um, if you ask people, how do you understand language? How do you understand English? Or how do you understand Japanese? People often think that you listen to, first of all, sounds then you put together the sounds into words, you put together the words into phrases, the phrases go into some kind of discourse, some kind of discussion, and from this we know the context, we know where we are, we know what's happening. Uh, in fact, usually the opposite happens, what's called top-down processing. So we know the context. From the context, we know what kind of discourse there is. We know what kind of conversation or what kind of discussion is happening. Um, we have a good idea what the phrases will be. And the words within the phrases, most of them, we know what people are going to say. So we just sometimes have to listen for some sounds and some clues and some phrases. Um, so what's very important is context. It's very important to choose a scene from the first half of the movie in order that they don't have to have too much background knowledge. Um, the scene should be maybe around five minutes long. Longer than five minutes starts to get difficult to understand and difficult to follow. Try and find a scene that has one interesting theme, some kind of focus, some kind of topic. Um, so that we can look at this topic will make it easier to easy to think about. Um, don't choose a scene just because it's famous. Um, for one thing, if it's a famous scene, people have probably already seen it. Uh, we don't need to see it again. Um, there may be some famous scenes are, are famous because they're good scenes, but that if it's a good scene, choose it because it's a good scene. Don't just choose the most famous scene in a movie. Um, don't choose a scene from near the end of the movie. Um, this may give away the... This may be difficult to understand because it's got lots of baggage from background from the movie. It may also give away the, um, the ideas and the main ideas. Don't choose a scene with many characters in. More characters means more relationships. Um, two people, there's one relationship. Three people... There are three relationships. Uh, four people, there are six different relationships. Five people have got ten different relationships. So as you get more people, it gets much more complicated and much more difficult to understand. And also just remembering who is who. So uh, scenes with few characters are good. Uh, try and choose a scene that's easy to understand. A, a scene that has dialogue. Uh, remember... Uh, we're trying to learn English, we're trying to acquire English, so we do need to listen to people talking to each other. It may help a lot if you can choose a scene that's available on YouTube, so we can put a link and it's easy for people to watch the scene. And available on YouTube without Japanese subtitles, please. Um, this means, of course, you're going to have to search in English 
Um, so remember rule number one, use English. Um, when you're choosing a movie, uh, these are all kinds of movies you could choose. Um, there are reasons for and there are reasons against each one. Um, you should maybe choose an action movie, but maybe not. Maybe you should be careful with action movies. You should maybe be careful with animations. Um, famous directors sometimes have very good movies. Some famous directors also have very bad movies. Um, famous actors, there are reasons for choosing movies with famous actors in. Uh, people like to talk about actors. Um, may, many people may have seen the movie and we maybe want to see a movie that many people haven't seen. Um, you should choose a movie that you, you have seen or if there's a movie you want, go and watch it uh, before you tell everyone else about it. And choose a movie that you want to watch many times. Um, you're going to be getting this movie ready for other people to watch. If you don't want to watch the movie again, then uh, choose a different movie. Choose a movie that you do want to watch again. And of course, a movie that's interesting. Um, probably you should choose a movie that most people have not seen. And um, maybe not animation. There are some good points about animation. There are some bad points. Uh, maybe not action. Um, there are good points about action. There are bad points about action. Um, definitely, anyway, definitely choose an interesting movie that you want to watch again and again and again. Um, for homework, then, uh, you need to add your movie to the forum. Um, put the movie title in the subject. Uh, don't please don't choose the same movie as another student and um, in the body briefly describe the scene that you want to watch from this movie good luck <laughs>